Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we will be talking about the course that the river takes or its stages from youthful middle to its old stage. The perennial river in its youthful stage which originates from the glacier flows down the slope of the mountain. At this point of time the volume of the river is very small because it is in its youth stage and also the velocity of the river is very high because the river is flowing down the mountain which is a slope or has a gradient. Here the river rapidly erodes a lot of material rocks and boulders because the river is flowing down the mountain and it is flowing at a very high speed. At this stage the river is flowing vertically downwards and because of its movement and its high speed it erodes away huge boulders and rocks and cuts down the mountain vertically forming deep gorges. Now deep gorges are eye shaped valleys. They are very very deep valleys which have been cut down because of the vertical movement of the rivers. The Indus river which flows across India and Pakistan cuts down deep gorges across mountains and these gorges are as deep as 5000 meters. A canyon is similar to that of a gorge but the canyons are greater in size. The most famous canyon is of Grand Canyon of Colorado River of United States. It is around 320 kilometers long and forms spectacular scenic wonders. As the river flows down from the deep and steep mountain valleys, they basically land up along the planar area. When it reaches the plain area or the valleys, it basically deposits all the material it has been carrying like sands and gravel and rocks. This happens because the river suddenly loses its velocity and becomes slower in speed. So a lot of material is basically deposited at the foothill of the mountain which is called as alluvial fan which is like a fan shaped structure. Now alluvial fan is similar to that of deltas but the difference is that deltas are formed along the sea when the river meets the sea which happens at the mouth of the river in its old stage as the river meets the ocean or the sea or the lake whereas the alluvial fan happens at the foothill of the mountain. When the mountain is made up of hard and soft rocks, the soft rocks are eroded by the rivers leaving the hard rocks behind. This down cutting of the river leads to the formation of cliff. At the bottom of the cliff there is a plunge pool which is formed because the river suddenly falls down the cliff from a great height and it also collects a lot of water and material at the bottom of the cliff forming a plunge pool which is called as a waterfall. As the river leaves the mountains and enters the low lying plains this course of the river or the stage is called as the middle course and this stage is when the river increases its volume and becomes very big. So the catchment area or the area which is drained by a single river is increased. That means the river basically deposits the material it has been carrying and there are tributaries or other streams of rivers which join the main river in order to increase the volume of the main river and the main river actually becomes very wide. Here the river does not flow in a straight line, it always takes meander or it flows in a zigzag pattern because the river erodes material from one side and deposits it on the other side. The river also cuts interlocking spurs. These are the valleys which are cut by the rivers because they erode away a lot of material from both the sides. Another interesting feature of the river in the middle stage is the formation of oxbow lakes. The oxbow lake is formed because the river meanders a lot. It erodes away from one end and deposits all the material towards the other side of the river. This deposition becomes so much that the river gets cut from one end and thus that part of the river which has got separated from the main river 
is called as the oxbow lake such oxbow lakes are very common on the banks of the mississippi river in the lower or the last course of the river the main function or activity of the river is the deposition of all the material that the river has been carrying so far the deposition of all the material that has been transported by the river forms a delta the word delta is derived from a fourth letter of the greek alphabet which is written like a triangle and refers to a fan shaped alluvial tract of land which is formed at the mouth of a river the silt is mainly deposited at the mouth of the river when the river meets the sea here the volume of the river increases the mouth of the river is blocked because of the deposition of huge amounts of silt therefore the main river divides into smaller streams and which flows into different channels these several channels which flows in different directions are called as distributaries the deltaic soil is extremely fertile for growing crops and for agriculture and also supports dense population the best known deltas of the world are ganga brahmaputra delta the nile river delta and the mississippi river delta